Going live. Oh God, this is a first. You're live. We are live. There we go. I'm State Street, and this is Joe. Yo. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the three people who are going to turn <laughs> up to, you know, show up. One will be next door. <laughs> uh, but anyway, because like once this video is live, then it becomes uh, a video by itself. So I guess we should just roll into it. Yeah, let's go. And you should show me your new DJI Ronin S. Which I've had for a couple of weeks and not had. Wait, 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 check this out. Like, cause first of all, this box is, is something sweet and unique. And it's even got its own lock. What's this made out of? It's kind of like a polystyrene, but like a really hard, yeah, hard polystyrene. Do you reckon you can like lift it up? What, and see if it falls out? Well, well, well just, you know, <laughs> show the camera, you know, everything's for the camera. There we go. That's sweet, that's tight and compact. You were saying that like, um, say when you have your settings on, on the index system, they've got like a ruler. Uh, you can't hold those settings because to get it back in the box, you have to like squidge it, squidge it, squidge it back into fit. So you lose all the settings that you've already set up with, which, in my opinion, isn't quite ideal. You'd have to like write them down for each camera yeah. that you use, and each yeah, each lens and each camera. Yeah, bit of a pain. But what what, what do you use? You got the um, A7S II, A7S which is my little go-to. Cool, get it out then. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you're in the doctor's here. <laughs> Let me see what the problem is. Pop it out. <laughs> uh, oh, we got we got a uh, bullshit meter. So you know, if any of us are chatting shit, I don't know. If, you know, it's before the watershed, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be a new. Is there a watershed on YouTube? I think there are age limits or restricted oh, videos. Say and... like if you've got adult content within your, in your video. So am I just going ahead and just setting this, this yeah, little yeah, thing you up? Can. Right. Basically, it's always handy. Is that everything from the? There is this little case which oh, right. has got some little bits and pieces in. BM pieces. <laughs> so black magic, you get that. Let's do it. Oh, so one one thing is that you like we've had to think about this because there are some issues with having such a wide body and the mounting point to be just there. Um, so if you get your A7S, up, I mean it's sort of in the similar place, but these two cameras are not the same shape or size. This is like well suited to something like this. Whereas we've seen a, a, like a lot of people have had to work around and put different plates that can, if you flip that round, is it that way? The old switcheroo. It's like too close and it bangs in. So we've got a cheese plate that we're gonna put on the bottom just to shift it out so it can actually sit in there. Um, oh, how do we do this? Uh, so a cheese, bit of a cheese plate there. Um, Screws. How long have you had this then? About two or three weeks. And I'm just sort of getting to grips with it. There's a lot of things I'd like to still play with. It's got a, a time-lapse setting, which I'd really like to go out and explore with. Mm. So that'd be fun. Um, but no, because, because I mainly use this, there's not a huge amount of adjusting I have to do. It's pretty much like you said, just chuck it straight on. That has a uh, time-lapse yes. feature in it, but it's the most horrible thing to use I've in the world. I've not used it, to be honest. I've, I've, um, <laughs> it's so slow. I think it's... Wait, which way do I want to be shifting this? I want to be shifting it over towards the massive grip on there. Yeah, I tend to use, oh, I shouldn't admit this, but I've installed Black Magic onto my 
Mark Five, uh, Canon Five D Mark Three. The the crack. Yes. Um, it's like a, it's like a second it's like a second camera now. So I wasn't too fussed about. Well, I was fussed, but you know what I mean. Wait, is it called the black black magic lantern? Magic. Did I say black that? magic lantern? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I installed that, and that's got an intervalometer on it. Um, so I tend to use the the five D Mark Three if I if I do time lapses. Okay, so now we've got this cheese plate on. So we instead of mounting it there, we're going to mount it over there. So if you give me that knife, it's all sort of got the same finish to it, hasn't it? Yeah. But one of the things we were saying about before is how easily it marks from on the underneath. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you'd be able to see that on camera. But... So this, in a few years, is going to be scuffed and yeah, scratched. scratched to death. Yeah. It's going to look like a well-used piece of kit. Oh, yeah. If there's any questions, just drop them in the chat. Obviously, I will look at them. And if I can't answer them, I will call. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> Uh, cheers, Rob, from next door, if you're watching. Right, wait. Is that right? Is that straight? Do you find that you've got to get everything, like, straightened up? Yeah. I, and perfectly honest, I, aligned. I think the strength of the motors in this thing do allow for a little bit of discre yeah, discrepancies. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I think it, it's, yeah, no, it's a really good bit of kit, to be honest. Right, away you go. Let's go. Come on, her up. I was, oh, I just had a call. So already we've got clearance on that side, but whether or not it'll be a short live stream if um, <laughs> we've got melons it up. Just remember, soft tones because you're right by the microphone. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> One thing that... I think they must have definitely incorporated it into the design is having this um, having this back motor and the arm slanted so that you can see the screen. Yeah. And obviously, brilliant. like, the biggest feature of the Blackmagic camera is that it's got an absolutely massive screen and you'd want to see it all in all its glory. Shall we test out how good your, good your balancing skills are? It's going to be loads of people on. calling you out here. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do that first. What's he doing that for? Yeah. Well, you've only had this two weeks. Two weeks. So you're pretty fresh with it. I'm pretty fresh with the camera. Um, I don't really know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Same with me with the gimbal. <laughs> Oh, and we've just got the 50 mil on just for ease. Maybe we should then um, swap it with the 24105 or the 18 to 35 that's on the camera. But that might, that might throw it. Yeah. Throw the tray. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Have you had to like. It feels like it. it's still. Till in that way ever so slightly. Yeah. And you're not gonna be able to get it much tighter to that. That's, so is that that's right? Better. That's right that's into touching, yeah. So can you see that? Like, yeah. So one thing that would be good then to have is maybe a counterweight on it. Possibly. Or maybe even in a cage, it might be better. Yeah, possibly. I don't know, which, which way would you need to add weight to it? On um, this side. This side. So it's, it's just there, to be honest. Yeah. It's, and we've just shifted that mounting point about a centimeter over. So a centimeter with that lens, you know, for for another lens, it could be completely off. Yeah, if it was a, hev actually, if it was a heavier, heavier lens, lens, it's adding more weight there, so you'd have to side. slide it over again. 
to that if you had a heavier lens you probably yeah. would need a counterbalance or but like you said with a cheese plate. Micro, micro four thirds lenses are generally will be quite a lot lighter um and you wouldn't need the extra metabone speed booster in there so it might make it more lighter on this side i think we're near enough there yeah let's fire her up <laughs> there we go. That's cool. Oh, did I put? Uh, it would be uh, interesting to see how far off, how, how far out I am. Why? Right, because then, oh, it's got a new app. New I haven't app. used um, a Ronin in a long time. Have you seen that on the stream? Yeah, it's it's much nicer. Not as close. Cool. Well, let's use it. This feels like a lightsaber, doesn't it? <laughs> it's um, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah. Not so bad with the A7S. Do you, do you, yeah. Do you do you feel that? I was I was going with one arm. How have you been operating it? Mainly one arm with support, like, like a fencer. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, probably just support around near the trigger, I guess, so I can kind of play with it. Oh yeah. So I've got sort of, yeah, a baby in it a little bit, I suppose. Mm. Um, but no, I've, with the A7S II, I found it to be manageable. So how, how like, if you put this up, how are you feeling? That's not so bad, is it? But no, you you couldn't you could, you wouldn't want to sort of spend more than 10, 15 minutes with it, would you? I suppose yeah. before wanting to put it down. But it's brilliant because you can see that whole screen there. I mean, as soon as you start like dipping it down, you start to lose that. Oh yeah, of course. But yeah, you can you can you can still see it. And it's a lot better than the gimbals that used to have just a motor there. Hmm. Like you said, it's where well, you couldn't make anything out. Can you power it from the front? Because there's these little yeah. uh, sort of feeling you can, not that I have yet, but I think you can power your camera or accessories. Yeah. Don't quote me. Wait, USB C. That's a USB C. I th can you power this camera from USB C? Uh, DJI, what is it? Ronin S to um, power cable black magic pocket. Magic pocket, send me a camera. Phantom power support. Ooh. Okay, so somebody's done a really in-depth, Jamie Brightmore, he's done a really uh, in-depth article here. Actually, if you're watching the stream and you want actual information, <laughs> <laughs> you should go there. <laughs> so what did he say about it? You can power. Let's search for power, our full center, our house, <laughs> power support with, I don't know, mm, it's referring to something else. Um, it's definitely got his SEO down there though, isn't he? Oh, but hang on, wait, that's just, that might just be a, no, I was thinking it might just be an interface to control like the, the the focus and stuff. I think that is, comes is that off, it? I think that comes off the side. So what's that? Oh, that's, that's like a, a motor. That's a US. I, I thought. No, I could be wrong. The f I think that this, live live discovery that input mark controls the camera mm. settings and the front inputs. 
control power. So you could have a monitor yeah. or a light or power the camera okay. itself. From what I've read, anyway. Again, I've so not really it's, used it's any the, of this. It's the, not those. That's that's from the side. Oh, okay. So is that then, not the same as the power at the front? Ooh. No, because you see, that's like a double strip. Oh, okay. And that's pins a, and that's single ones. Yeah. It's interesting. There's a USB thing here. That'll be for updating it. Maybe. Um. Anyway, it's a cool setup, and obviously. Um, going to be quite a popular one because the camera does not have image stabilization. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, th I think this would be a popular setup, and we always know that like DJI put out really solid products. Oh, there's a button here. Do I press it? The trigger. I've. It does do so. Oh, ah, it centers. centers. Ah. Yeah. And then I've got a feeling if you hold the M down. Wait, I don't want it to like flip and bash the screen. Yeah, although that might let's not that that, that might. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rob, uh, I did open the box. I should have started with that. Um, it's not better than pizza, but I did get it out of the box. Uh, so I had the Osmo, and if I pressed it three times. Yeah, ah, selfie, <laughs> selfie boy. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, I've just done a live stream. Can I call you back? Yeah, this is the second time you featured. All right, tell me. I'm not having any luck with this. Oh, no, because you have to now press it three times again. Oh, no, two? No, I didn't want to do it for me either. Is it, has it died? One, two, three. One. One, two. Two. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here like a bunch of Muppets <laughs> live to the world. <laughs> um, what would be cool features does this do? Because I think, now I've only had it out of the box a few days, but there is a... Capture one frame every 10 frames. So I reckon that's like a, or, or, or seconds. So I think that's a time lapse feature. Oh, okay. oh yeah, actually, it says time lapse. <laughs> <laughs> this is how much I've used the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, so then capturing one frame every. So can you set up like a, um, a moving? Yeah, there is a time lapse feature. Again, I've not got to the bottom of it yet. Well, are we the most researched and rehearsed people on the planet? There's a panorama setting. <laughs> Excuse me, shush. Uh, what's the slowest shutter you can do? Um, so if I go into, hang on, I'm still in this time lapse mode, so that might affect it. So if I get out of that, uh, off. I'm like, you know, when your dad had his first touchscreen <laughs> mobile phone, or you got one for your granddad in case of emergencies, <laughs> and he's like, no, three, <laughs> seven, seven. Oh no, that's not my number. Uh, and it's painful. Hang on, wait. If I can do, yeah, maybe. Oh, we can see the back of the screen now. Uh, so. Uh, if we go out to here and we go to shutter, whoop. Um, so we've got like 71.9 degrees. Okay, wait, if I just change the frame rate to 25, then we all know what we're working from here. So uh, 70, ooh, 15 degrees. Uh, oh, wait. 360, 360 degrees. That's the slowest shutter. So that's like full, is that fully open? Is that all silky? Or is that like closed? Hang on. Yeah, because like 90 is effectively like, uh, yeah, so three, 300, like wide open. 
Yeah. There you go, Rob. Is it always set to degrees? Now that's something I'm going to have to dig into the menu. Um, so I reckon in record, you've got, hang on, let's turn this around. Oh, it is around. Now I've got to turn it back the other way. That's where we failed. <laughs> okay. Is it always set to degrees? Um, it doesn't appear that I can just select the shutter. The only other option I've got is auto exposure, which, uh, you know, I, I use that all the time. Um, I, so let's go back into the menus and see if in the setup, shutter angle, shutter speed, there you go. So in shutter speed, uh, I can then go down to 1 30th, 1 25th, and then up to 1 2,000th. Oh, that's on a 50 mil, wait. Wow, this is trippy, <laughs> I've got like so many monitors going on. Um, yeah. You can do it by increments as well. So currently in 25 frames per second and I'm at 1 50th, I can go down to 1 30th, 1 25th, up to 2000th, 1500th, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I reckon you can probably set your shutter in time-lapse mode. What was that question? Uh, it wasn't a question, it was more of a statement. <laughs> uh, so record, then shutter. Yeah, you can change it in time lapse mode. Any other questions? Hang on, I gotta take this um, street jumper off. I like tops that say things <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> As I get older, I just want to be telling the world how I'm feeling and stay street. It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> it should be stay Muppet or something. <laughs> Didn't want to get my uh, turn body out on the camera, did I? Now that's more like it. I reckon you can probably set your shit up in time, that's right. Um, I think we've done it. Is that all, Rob? Okay. Wait, let's just turn it around now. You're hogging up the frame. Hi, guys. Do you know how it fares with bigger cameras, a.k.a. Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K? I do not. Me uh, I have no? seen them. Um... How does the Ronin S compare to the, uh, the Ursa Mini 4.6K? Well, obviously, one's a camera and one's, uh, you know... <laughs> Gimbal. Um, I, did, I did see a. Let's take it off this. I did see some beefy cameras on. Oh yeah, on, the I, S. on this. I'm sure somebody's had like an Alexa Mini or something. I'm sure I've seen an Alexa on it. How are they powering it then? They must be powering it from these. Do you reckon? Yeah, I've got a feeling. Possibly. If anybody's done that with the old uh, Alexa Mini, send your answers on a postcard <laughs> to my ass. <laughs> uh, God, hold on to... Stop recording if card drops frame rate. Hmm. Uh, so there is inverted mode on this, isn't there? I haven't used it. But yet, it I'm feels honest. like, ooh, I'm going to like, want to. Well, I'm going to bang it. Because oh, it's okay. so wide. Did you say there was a motor kill? Yes. Yeah, there we go. So if I wanted to go quickly into inverted mode. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's not so bad. Then in and then how do you go back? There's a little power button on the side. If you click that twice. Haha. Mm. It's okay. as easy as that. That works. You can still see the screen. 
the screen is actually really um, viewable at quite steep angles. So it doesn't feel like, you know, with some monitors, like probably my, that screen feels like you can't see it at certain angles. This is like probably one of the best things about this is the screen. Yeah. It's incredible. Like uh, it's getting heavy now. <laughs> so uh, you know all that Jim I was talking to you about. How do, how do I double double click the power? Oh, there you go. That should free it up. It feels like they're still on, but like, because there's a bit of like, I heard a bit of a, a noise there. Yeah. But it's nothing we're worried about. Okay. Put that down. So then. Cool. Yeah. Solid setup. Brand new. Oh, holding the trigger will lock the camera position. That's pretty awesome. Oh, nice one. And who's that come from? Robert. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. We're learning stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then, like, cycling through those modes, they did, like, all the tilt, which I didn't like. So maybe if you were like, I just want to reset to there. Ah. Very oh, handy, okay. that. So you can lock it, even if it's... Oh, that is really and then double click goes back to center. Nice. Bosh. Yeah, so I think the only thing I would like to know is if I can power it directly from there because then you're you're taking weight out of that side, from making it heavier over there. Yeah. That would be interesting. Um, it's probably not worth testing other lenses because um, I've only got one and that would make it really front heavy. But I guess same thing again, you can just like rebalance it on yeah. the cheese plate we probably have to take that off and it's a bit more of a faff i mean with the a7s2 and the 24 25 i found it to be no problem at all to be honest it handled it pretty nicely oh you can lock it up and then go inverted oh really holy smokes oh it didn't like that it was uh vibrating a bit but you know Got Fine. There. Got there. Got there. Are you happy with me doing that yeah, again? Yeah. Like, it's your toy. And I just <laughs> hijacked it. No, it's cool. Well. No, it's handy to know you can I do it that quickly. I think I like the other version. Just because it, I feel like I'm going to burn out the motors or something doing like that. Handy to know, though, in a rush. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I think we're almost done. What were you going to say about the A7S on there? With a heavy lens on the front, balanced with that, it, it handled it no problem at all. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Cool. Any last questions? So lock it. So lock it. Then point it down till it's upside down. Lock it. Like dip it forward. Oh, and then you can just do it like that. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. And because it's at that angle, it's kind of not going oh, in front of the lens. Yeah, you can see, you completely see the screen. Unless you, I mean, is that coming into the, if you're in a wide, if you've got a wide lens. Oh, it just left it. <laughs> right, so press it again, locks. <laughs> and hi, I'm a professional filmmaker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, that's good tips from Robert Machado. Check out his channel. He's actually really, really good and does this thing really well. Uh, <clears throat> not like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think we. I think we. Okay, stop that now. Um, I think we. I think we're done with that. Yeah. It's a good bit of kit. Yeah. But it's feeling heavy and it's getting into that like two arm territory. Possibly. Like I don't know why you'd put that uh, like a Lexi Mini on it. Just get a steady cam operator right here. <laughs> <coughs> Giving it the hard sell. Subscribe, <laughs> like, and uh, give me your money. <laughs> All right. We're done. Ciao.